Okay, guys, so I'm like super excited because I finally got my Alcree box, and it looks like this. And it has like really cool little, I love book. it almost says I love books, 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 and it has little owl tracks on it, which is cute. But the reason why I decided to get go with Alcree is because a lot of people that I live with around here like anime and gaming a lot, so they get like things like Anime Crate and Loot Crate. And I was like, I want to get something like cool in the mail, but I don't really like all those things as much. Now, I do like anime, but oh my god, anime crate is expensive. So, I went with Owl Crate, which still isn't really that cheap. It ended up costing me like, what, $36 a month? But it's worth it if you get cool literary stuff in a box and a book, right? So, like I said, this is my first unboxing video, and I'm really excited to show you guys what's in it. So, I'm going to open it now. Let's see. See, the first thing it comes with is this little card that has all the stuff that's in it. It's like a spoiler, and I'm not going to look at that first. I'll read that later when I actually know what's in the box. So let's see what we got here. I'm going to save the book for last because that's the best part. The first thing we got, it's one of those literary candles from Etsy. They kind of ruined it by emailing us and telling us where they were getting stuff from. So I kind of knew I was going to get a candle. But it looks like this, if you can see it. And it says, Reading at the Cafe. Let's see. Book Lover's Soy Candle, and it has where it's from, it's from Minneapolis. So let's see what this smells like. And it's brown like this. Ooh, it smells like, like cinnamon rolls and coffee. It, it's probably supposed to smell like a cafe because it's called Reading at a Cafe. So let's see what else is in here. Got a little book. Oh, it's like... It's like a little notey book. It says what I read. It's kind of cute. And it looks like I can't get it better than that. Like that. It says on the back, the What I Read journal is ideal for jotting down thoughts and keeping track of all the books you've read and can't wait to start. Oh, this is neat. So it's like, if I don't feel like logging on a Goodreads a lot when I'm reading, I can write in here. And it has things like, it says title, author, start date, end date, my reading, how many stars, and thoughts. Oh, that's cool. So I can like write down all my book reviews in this little notebook and keep it handy for when I'm trying to review books for you guys. That's useful. I like that. Let's see what else we got. Hey, it's some kind of card. The Art of Sandra Vargas Illustration Art Prints Postcards T shirts. It looks like a little um I don't know, like a little magnet maybe? It's got a cool picture on it. It's like this weird looking anime silver haired person with like a furry thing kind of like a fox maybe i'm not sure what that is i guess it's a magnet i think it's too small to be anything else that's neat let's see we got another little notepad like thing looks like this and it's to-do list so i guess i can write down what i'm reading and I, like what I, like i can take inventory and write down all the books i'm gonna read and cross them off when i'm done it says on the back, this super useful notepad was made especially for you by BoyGirlParty.com. Boy Girl Party is a shop featuring uniquely illustrated gifts, including journals, cards, jewelry, and clothing. Everything at Boy Girl Party is designed and illustrated by me. It has her name in BoyGirlParty.com. That's really neat. And I actually been to this website and I saw the necklace with this little octopus guy with the books. And I really wanted the necklace, but this is just as cool. Let's see what's left. Uh, let's see. This is just for the soy candles. It comes, I guess, describing what it smells like. Is all the fluff is the book or? Nope, this is the last thing. The last thing is the actual book. And it's called Da Vinci's Tiger. I've never heard of this one. But I like that it comes in a plastic case. They just don't put the book in it. Um, let me see what this is about. Hmm, I'm gonna have to open out of this plastic wrap. Okay, so let's open it. Ah, man. Okay, that wasn't too hard. Ah, open it. I'm gonna fight with the wrap. Aha, I got it. Okay. Okay, let's see what this is about. It says, I beg your pardon, I am a mountain tiger. If that Flemish woman can turn out wood, I could certainly dare to. And I could go one step further. I, the poet, I, the pronounced model for Tuscan maidens, 
I, the platonic muse of an ambassador from one of the most power city states in Europe, I, the educated prodigy, prodigy of a woman who changed her name to, oh god, I'm horrible with names, Scholastica, and liberated the minds of cloistered women. I, who have the chance to make men listen and see what women had in their hearts and minds, I, a mountain tiger, like the one that showed no fear when hunted, whose fairly, fierce dignity prompt imaginings about her soul and her courage, a creature with her own past and own story. There's more in the flap that says more about it. That sounds really interesting. So this is what the cover looks like. I'm getting distracted. <laughs> but that was all that's in the box. This, the cover is really pretty. Like, I really can't wait to see what it's about. I would read the flap, but it's kind of long. I've already read that long paragraph in the back. So, but I guess I could read it. Let's see what it says. The beautiful, witty daughter of a wealthy family. Oh, God, more, more horrible names to pronounce. Gen Genevra, Genevra de Benishi longs to share her poetry and participate in the artistic ferment of Renaissance, Renaissance Florence. But she is trapped in an arranged marriage in a society dictated by men expected to limit her creativity to household duties. When charismatic Venetian ambassador Bernardo Bimbo arrives in Florence, he introduces Genevra to a dazzling circle of patrons, artists, and philosophers. A world of thought and conversation she has yearned for. She is attracted to the handsome newcomer yet conflicted about his attentions. Choosing Genevra as his platonic muse, Bimbo commissioned her commissions her portrait by a young Leonardo da Vinci. Posing for the brilliant painter inspires a captivating intimacy between them. Wow. This actually... It sounds like a really good historical fiction book. I mean, I didn't read the whole synopsis, but you know, it's just that that in a backdrop and it explains like what what inspired it. But oh, I really like that cover. It's by L. M. Elliot, and it looks really good. I can't wait to get to this one day. Masuga Repot was huge, but I will get to it. But that was all for the box. I'm really happy with what I got, and I can't wait to get to the next box, which they already um they already told us that the next thing was going to be magic. This one was um, Get Inspired, which I really like what they put in the box. I really can't wait for the next one, especially because I'm guessing with magic, it's going to be Harry Potter themed, and I love Harry Potter. I'm sure there's at least going to be one thing with Harry Potter in it, but that's for next month, and like I said, this is a cool first unboxing, and I can't wait to do more for you guys, but thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.